హాయ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ మనోహర్ మోటివేషనల్ థాట్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ లెర్న్ దట్ ఇన్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ యాటమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ మెన్ బై స్పెక్ట్రమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎలక్ట్రో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ స్పెక్ట్రమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వేవ్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ సో దీస్ టాపిక్స్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ హ్యావ్ లెర్న్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ లెసన్ ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ నౌ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ చాప్టర్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ యాటమ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లెర్న్ అబౌట్ ద క్వాంటమ్ నంబర్స్ సో డు టు డిస్క్రైబ్ ద ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఆర్ ద ఎగ్జాక్ట్ పొజిషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఏ సెట్ ఆఫ్ నంబర్స్ దోస్ నంబర్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ క్వాంటమ్ నంబర్స్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు నో వన్ పర్సన్స్ అడ్రస్ వాట్ వీ రిక్వైర్డ్ వీ నీడ్ దేర్ హౌస్ నెంబర్ స్ట్రీట్ నేమ్ విలేజ్ నేమ్ డిస్టిక్ నేమ్ అండ్ స్టేట్ సో to locate exact address these are all the information we need in the same way to find the position of electron also we need four quantum numbers so those quantum numbers are principal quantum number angular momentum quantum number magnetic quantum number spin quantum number so to describe the electron these four quantum numbers are required now we will discuss detailly one by one first quantum number is principal quantum number this quantum number is proposed by niels bohr scientist so niels bohr proposed this quantum number and this quantum number denoted by letter n these n values are positive integers 1 2 3 4 these 1 2 3 4 values are the represented for the k l m n shells so this quantum number explains about the size and energy of the main shells you know already in an atom there are different shells electrons are revolve around the nucleus in particular shells so this is the first shell is n is equal to 1 second is n is equal to 2 third is n is equal to 3 and fourth shell is n is equal to 4 first shell is represented for k shell second shell l shell third shell m shell and fourth shell is n shell and by using this principal quantum number we can also know that number of orbitals and maximum number of electrons present in the each shell so maximum number of electrons by 2n square formula maximum number of electrons is given by 2n square means here if first shell k shell n is equal to 1 means 2 into 1 square 2 into 1 2 so first shell maximum number of electrons only 2 and in the second shell if n is equal to 2 2 square 2 into 4 8 electrons is the maximum number of electrons in the l shell third shell is m shell so if n is equal to 3 3 square 9 9 into 2 18 electrons so fourth shell if n is equal to 4 4 into 4 16 16 into 2 32 electrons so here each shell carrying the fixed number of electrons in k shell 2 electrons l shell 8 electrons m shell 18 electrons n shell 32 electrons are present and not only that this is also number of orbitals also we can find number of orbitals is given by n square formula first shell n is equal to 1 means here only one uh, orbital is present that is a s orbital and if l is equal to n is equal to 2 uh, 2 square 4 orbitals are there s orbital and p orbital in s s sub shell 1 orbital p sub shell 3 orbitals are present so simply i am indicating like like this so s orbital is a with one box and maximum number of two electrons are present p sub shell 3 orbitals are present so total number of orbitals 4 and in the third shell if n is equal to 3 9 orbitals are present those 9 are s p d s sub shell 1 orbital p sub shell 3 orbitals d sub shell 
5 orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 orbitals total number of orbitals in the m shell is 9 orbitals and spd 3 subshells are present n is equal to 4 means 16 orbitals and 4 subshells s p d f so here s subshell 1 orbital p subshell 3 orbitals d subshell 5 orbitals f subshell 7 orbitals total number of orbitals 16 so principal quantum number will give the information about size and energy of the main shell also so one more is size and energy so if, based on the n number the size and energy of the shell also will be increases the shell which is close to the nucleus have less energy the shell far away from the nucleus have more energy so as the n number is increasing size and energy also increases so this is the complete information about the principal quantum number once again principal quantum number is proposed by niels bohr scientist it is denoted by letter n small n n values are 1 2 3 4 and these are represents for the shells of the main shells those are k l m n so this is the information by the principal quantum number and we can also find the maximum number of electrons in the each shell by using the 2n square formula and here ma uh, number of orbitals also by n square formula so this principal quantum number will give the information about uh, size and energy of the main shells so this is about the principal quantum number now we will discuss about the angular momentum quantum number let us see angular momentum quantum number here uh, angular momentum quantum number is proposed by ne uh, Sommerfeld so it is denoted by letter n here this is by Niels Bohr and angular momentum quantum number is proposed by Sommerfeld scientist so this angular momentum quantum number explains about the subshells of the uh, shells that means l, l values are the starts from 0 1 2 3 so l value 0 means s subshell if l is equal to 1 p subshell l is equal to 2 d subshell l is equal to 3 f subshells so here the angular momentum quantum number will give the orbitals s orbital p orbital d orbital f orbital so these are the values for the uh, angular momentum quantum number this is also known as uh, azimuthal quantum number so these are the subshells and uh, the relation between the n and l are the if n is equal to 1 l value 0 it is meant for s subshell so here s subshell if n is equal to 2 l values are 2 are there 0 comma 1 this is for s and p subshells if n is equal to 3 l values 3 are there 0 comma 1 comma 2 so s p d subshells so if n is equal to 4 l values are 4 0 1 2 3 0 for s subshell 1 for p subshell 2 for d subshell and 3 for f subshell so these are the this is the relation for the main between the principal quantum number and uh, angular momentum quantum number so this is about the and one more thing uh, angular momentum quantum number explains about the shape of the orbitals also s orbital is uh, in spherical shape just like a sphere and p orbital is a uh, dumbbell shape and d orbital is a uh, double dumbbell shape and f orbital is the sum of the complex shape is there so that is uh, just like uh, the f subshell will be this is the uh, one of the complex shape of the f subshell so s orbital p subshell p orbital dumbbell shape sorry s orbital spherical shape p orbital dumbbell shape d orbital double dumbbell shape so angular momentum quantum number explains about the shape of the orbitals shape of the 
సో ఫైనలీ యాంగ్యులర్ మూమెంట్ ఆన్ కాంటర్ నంబర్ ప్రపోజ్డ్ బై సోమర్ఫెల్డ్ సైంటిస్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డొనేటెడ్ బై లెటర్ ఎల్ ఎల్ వాల్యూస్ ఆర్ ద జీరో వన్ టూ త్రీ అండ్ జీరో ఫర్ ఎస్ ఆర్బిటాల్ వన్ ఫర్ పి ఆర్బిటాల్ టూ ఫర్ డి ఆర్బిటాల్ త్రీ ఫర్ ఎఫ్ ఆర్బిటాల్ ద రిలేషన్ బిట్వీన్ ఎన్ అండ్ ఎల్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ ఎల్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సబ్షెల్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎస్ సబ్షెల్ అండ్ వాల్యూ ఇస్ జీరో ఇఫ్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ టూ వాల్యూస్ జీరో కమా వన్ ఎస్ అండ్ పి సబ్షెల్స్ ఇఫ్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ త్రీ సబ్షెల్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఎల్ వాల్యూ జీరో వన్ టూ ఎస్ పి డి ఇఫ్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్ ఎల్ వాల్యూస్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ దేర్ జీరో వన్ టూ త్రీ and s p d f subshells now we will discuss about the angular momentum as magnetic quantum number so see that magnetic quantum number is proposed by lande scientist and it is denoted by ml so ml values are the starts from minus l to plus l including zero including zero so here uh, l value ml values are depends on l values and we can get the ml values based on the formula of 2l plus 1 so suppose if l is equal to 1 ml values also 1 will be that is zero means s subshell if l is equal to 2 if l is equal to 1 ml value 1 is there that is 0 if l is equal to 2 here 3 values ml values are the 3 and these values are minus 1 comma 0 comma plus 1 so here ml values if l is equal to l is equal to 1 sorry one minute l is equal to 0 ml value also 0 if l is equal to 1 then ml value 3 are there 2 into 1 2 2 plus 1 3 so here the three values for the px py pz orbitals and uh, if l is equal to 2 ml values 5 are there means here 2 into 2 4 4 plus 1 5 so here minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 so these are for the d orbitals dxy dyz dxz dx square minus y square dz square and if l is equal to 3 ml values are 7 values 2 into 3 6 plus 1 7 so these values are minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 so these are the ml values for the especially magnetic quantum number explains about the orientation of orbitals means how the p orbital in the px py pz and d orbital in the dxy dyz dx square y x square minus y square dz square like that five different orientations of the orbitals can be determined by ml values magnetic quantum number so this is about the magnetic quantum number lastly we discuss about the spin quantum number the spin quantum number is uh, explains about the spin of electron or uh, rotation of electron here spin quantum number proposed by ullenbeck ullenbeck uh, and goudsmith this is denoted by ms so this ms have the only two values one is a uh, plus half and other is a uh, minus half so here only two values are there the spin of electron only two possibility rotations are there one is a clockwise direction other is a anti-clockwise direction so here electron whenever it is revolving one should be in the clockwise direction other should be in the anti-clockwise direction whenever electron revolve in the clockwise direction we have to take plus half value in anti-clockwise direction we have to take minus half values so this is about the four quantum numbers students i hope you understand well these four quantum numbers for example how to find the position of el uh, an electron we will check one uh, by taking one example for example 2s is there here n value 2 and uh, l value 0 s subshell is uh, 0 
and for example uh, 2p for example 2p orbital is there n value 2 is there and l value 1 is there means here this is s subshell and this is a p subshell so based on the by taking whenever we are writing the electronic configuration what is the shell what is the subshell what is the orbital and where the electron can be present in an atom we can find by using this uh, four quantum numbers so i students i think you understand well if you have any doubts you keep and ask me in the comment box and uh, still now if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and uh, share to all your friends thank you